more doctors smoke camels than any other cigarette. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Bavarians is for your man and you too. What's that you say? No boulder doctor baloney here. Cheers, everyone, and welcome to the Unfiltered Gentleman. And now, breaking the seal all over the finer things of life, Greg Scott and Dan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> seal broken. Yep. What's up, everybody? It's the Unfiltered Gentleman. Welcome in. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling friends about the show and hanging out and all that good stuff. I'm yeah. Greg. That's Scott. Love to all. <laughs> We're a couple days from Valentine's oh, Day. Oh, so. yes. Yeah. We are getting there. That's yeah. true. <laughs> And that's Dan. What up? <laughs> <laughs> now, speaking of Valentine's Day, I'm oh, really wow. sad that there's no um, Enjoy by 214 chocolate IPA. Like yeah, oh, that shit. was so good last year. That was so good. What no, happened? No wonder. Probably I my favorite Enjoy by. I think me too. Yeah. That's so good. No wonder it doesn't feel like that time of year right yeah. now. Yeah. Oh, shit. It's like Christmas without Choco Vesa. It's no. Valentine's oh, Day God. without Enjoy by yeah. chocolate IPA. No I'm kidding. Kidding. Stone, what happened? Damn it. Uh, Slipping. Seriously, slipping stone, slipping through the cracks. Mm-hmm. Now they're just rock. <laughs> you're welcome, everybody. <laughs> if you're still listening, oh man, uh, our burp board of the week is Loggerville. Ooh, Loggerville, Loggerville, Loggerville. I'd like to live there. <laughs> yes, and we'll get to why it's Loggerville in just a little bit. Okay, uh, Loggerville is our burp board of the week, and uh, shout out. To Stand by for this butcher. Here wow. we go. I can't wait to hear this. Shout out to Tegucia Pulp. Nope, Tegucia Gulpa. You nailed it. Tegucia Gulpa? Tegucia Gulpa? Yeah. Ooh. Dan's got it. Yeah. Something like that. Uh, somewhere in Honduras. Honduras. I kid, wow. I kid you not. Really? I don't. I don't know what happened in Honduras where they discovered the unfiltered gentleman, but last week our top listening city was what Dan said in Honduras. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's Tegucia really Gulpa. Weird. Yeah. That one. Yeah, those guys. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's really cool. Apparently, we're in national superstars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah past Canada this time. Mm-hmm. This previously, that was our yeah. Yeah, those yeah. hosers are slacking. That's right. So uh, I'll need a Honduras. They speak Spanish on Honduras. I have no idea. Well, in, just in case you do, gracias. Yeah. <laughs> there must be like one little city that has like a bunch of like expat white people there or something. Yeah, <laughs> you know, they just downloaded us like ninety eight times or something. Oh, what's so. going on with that? That's crazy. Well. Thanks, Honduras. Yeah. Muchas gracias. And if you don't speak Spanish, I'm sorry for being racist. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's true. I'm lumping you in. <laughs> uh, that's that's kind of crazy. It's a trip, man. Yeah. Uh, hashtag show us your beers. If you guys in uh, Honduras yeah. or anywhere else are posting pictures of your beers on social media, tag us and hashtag show us your beers. And if it's a nice can, of course, hashtag. Absolutely. Cans for cans. Here we go. Cans for cans. Cans for cans. It's the best one. So, um, all right. we got a lot to get to. we got, of course, our beer of the week. We've got uh, Nicole from Beauty and Beer. She's back with a new review. Of All course. right. Yes. Uh, some booze news. But what I'm most excited for is Will Scott poured out. Oh, oh man. Oh, man. I am so excited for this one. I'm Usually it's like, all right, I'm pretty sure he won't pour it out because it's alcohol. But this one, I think there's a good chance. Oh, shit. I'm- and... Well, I, I won't give you any more away. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll get I've there. I've never seen you this excited about it, Will Scott yeah. poured out, so I'm... A little nervous. Yeah, I'm ex- yeah. And, and I will say like there's no like weird objects in it. I didn't put dog shit. It's it's a legit beer. That's okay. It has not gone bad. I know. It could be like shit infused vodka. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> elephant poo one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I found yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert. So anyways, but we'll Man. get we'll get there soon enough. Let's talk about the good beer. Grab your libations, pals. It's time for beer of the week. And if you're drinking well, you know that you're my friend, and I'll say, I think I'll have myself a beer. Two weeks in a row, I think I've uh, been catering to Dan here. Yeah. This one is Arcadia Ale's Hop Mouth. It's hmm. a double IPA. Okay. 3.8 on Beer Advocate, 8% ABV, okay. and 59 IBUs. Hmm. This re- from the brewery. This remarkably balanced brew... Okay has a deep amber hue with a generous white head. Hot Mouth showcases a rich, toasty flavor and sweet caramel notes because of the high-quality Maris Otter malt that's used. 
The hops are up front in the aroma, reminiscent of citrus and pine, while the resin-like flavors linger well after the last sip. Oh, my God. What say you, Dan? I fucking love this shit, man. <laughs> it's fucking delicious. Yeah, yeah. They're right on that toasty. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. And then, like, the caramel and everything. Oh, like, little, yeah. Yeah, right? It, like, to me, the caramel I, really hits me. Yeah, yeah I kind of like that. Like, I almost feel like it makes it a little classier with some caramel effect on there or something. It makes it feel like Pinky's almost up. like a... Yeah, like <laughs> almost like you're drinking like a like a like a liquor or something like, like a like cocktail or something. Yeah, like you like. order your beer neat. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Shake it, not <nuts>. Yeah, <laughs> um, it tastes good. Yeah, you know that caramel lends itself to quite a bit of sweetness up up front, mm-hmm. but not in like yeah, a you know yeah. fruity kind Correct. of way. But you get no, this yeah. like sweet caramel up front. Yeah, but then you are attacked in the mouth buds. Yeah. with hops and yeah. dank and pine. Like it is hoppy it really is and it, it tastes a lot more than it's just eight percent abv yeah it also has a little uh, heat to it yeah yeah it, it's interesting because they said it, you know the well balanced i was like it's tasty but let's not confuse this with like a really well balanced you like last last week's oh, beer right. mm-hmm. i think it was really well balanced you didn't you know it's the same percentage you didn't get the heat it actually had more ibus too you didn't get the heat you weren't bombarded by anything like that was i think really well balanced mm-hmm. this is True. uh you get some heat you get some hot like it's all yep. punchy in the face yeah, yeah. yeah it really so, is uh i think this is a delight for hop heads oh, yeah. yeah it's great man i can dig it mm-hmm. there's definitely a time and place for this mm-hmm. yeah like you said pinky's up on this one get get your good glassware for this one because it's a it's a heater I really feel this could be drank out of like a sniffer glass. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, definitely. We could class this. Jo- I should have. We should okay. class this joint up. I apologize. We just have pint glasses. Oh wow. <laughs> hey, they don't have to know that. They can that's see it. That's, that's true. true. We are drinking out of the classiest. Yes, we are. Gold oh chalices God, you've yeah. ever <laughs> seen. It's like Raiders of the Lost Ark. No. Uh, <laughs> Raiders of the Lost. Which Indiana uh, Jones was it with the with the Raiders of Oh the Raiders that lost to the Chargers. Oh yeah, that one. Yeah. <laughs> Listen to you. Which Indiana Jones was the was the chalice? Was that Temple of Doom? Is it Temple of Doom? I don't know. I have no idea. Was that with Kalima? <laughs> <laughs> if I were religious, I could probably figure it out. Because <laughs> it you know it was a whole God thing. Oh yeah. Uh, but yeah, so uh, the Last Crusade? Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Who knows? Okay, let's go with that. that yeah. All right. I think I'll roll with that one. I know it wasn't the stupid alien one, so uh, the crystal skulls. Uh, oh my god! That's a, there's yeah, a whole I, I think I watched the Raiders, but I didn't see that one. Mm. The newest one, crystal yeah, skull. yeah, yeah. Where the garbage aliens and bullshit. Garbage. Yeah. Temple of Doom was good. Stupid. The first three were great. Yes. Alien was stupid. Correct. All right. So thank you, Arcadia Ales, for hot. Yes, mouth. absolutely. Yeah. And you know it's a great name because like I haven't had a sip in a good I don't know minute. And like I still get this this hop on my tongue, this hop mouth yeah. flavor. Like it's it's sticking around. It's it's sticky icky. It is. Ooh, wee. it's like caramel, man. Yeah, it's crazy. Love it. Uh, Arcadia Ales hop mouth. Check it out. We'll have pictures and all that stuff on our social medias. Uh, a little bit of crotch talk. Have a grievance to share? It's time for a crotch talk. Does anybody have any grievances? Anything happened to you this week where you just you know have to get off your chest? No, nothing like that, man. That's good. I don't know, Scott. Any anger? Um, you don't have to. I mean, it's fine. We can we can be happy this week. Okay, I'll just be happy. Okay, I, I don't want to. Yeah. Whatever you got, it's fine. I mean, okay, the guy the <laughs> the guy this morning. <laughs> uh, I took the guy to the airport this morning, mm-hmm. and he was like, no matter what question he asked me, no matter how I answered, the guy just wanted to argue. Oh, jeez, he's just one of those guys. Like he'd be like. Don't you think that the rates in Ventura are higher than the rates in L.A.? I'm like, yeah, a little bit higher. The Uber rates? Yeah. Okay. And he'd be like, no, 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 the rates in L.A. And it's just like, no matter what. And so even like the route, I mean, I picked him up in Port Wainimi, so we're going to go to the coast. Mm-hmm. And he's like, are you going to go to the coast? I'm like, well, that's kind of the the quickest way to tell me. I said, if you would prefer another way, we'll go, you know, we'll yeah. head out to the freeway and go that way. It's all you, buddy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he's like. No, that's fine. Okay. And it, it's 6 o'clock in the morning on a Monday morning. So those of you who are in Southern California know what the 405 is like. Yeah, you're going to want to go to the coast. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So I just told him, I said, I'm, I'm imagining the 405 being a mess. He goes, yeah, I, I guess you're right. And just, well, you'd be hitting the, the 405 at like 7 o'clock. 
Yes. That'd be awful. Exactly. Yeah. And, I mean, first of all, he had to finish smoking his cigarette before he got in the car. Oh, so he got to smell that. Yes. And then we had to stop oh. halfway down there because he needed to get a cup of coffee from McDonald's and smoke another cigarette. Mm. And it's just like, yeah, everything. He just he used to be an Uber driver, so he'd be oh, like... Oh, so he's a genius. Y- yeah, he's yeah. an expert. He, so he knew everything. He knew exactly what I was making. So you're probably making this percent right now. I'd be like, no, I'm actually making this percent. No, 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 you're making this percent. After a while, I just finally agreed with everything he said. I agreed. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yep. He said, yeah, yeah. He's like, wait, no, you're not. <laughs> oh, no. the sky is purple today. Yep, you're right. It you're sure right. is. Look at that purple sky. Oh, my God. What a douchebag. Yeah. How how uh, old was this gentleman? Uh, he was younger than me, but that's, you know, well, <laughs> you know, who isn't? So I ask again. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm guessing 40s. Okay. Yeah. Oh, what a douche. Not from this country. Oh. Mm. Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. Hmm. Was mm. English well spoken, though? What I'm getting at here is, like, was it a language barrier issue? No, or just no, no, he no, was, no. He, yeah, he had the English language. And let me, uh, let me turn things around for you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Please. Yeah. Well, last week we had uh, that hoppy ale that I brewed. Correct. And it was not too shabby. It was great. I say so myself. I have brewed now, or am in the process of making, a Hefeweizen. Oh. Yes. I brewed a Hefeweizen, and, you know, after, you know, the last IPA we had on the show it tasted like donkey shit, um, and then the uh, the hoppy ale last week was fine. It was just what it was. It was free, though, so it was great. Um, I really was like, I need to do a better job at brewing beer, and so I made sure that, like, they have this thing called OG, not Original Gangster, it's uh, oh. Original Gravity. Oh. And FG, final gravity. And so your OG is, it's the gravity is a reading of sugars, like how much sugar is present in the beer or the wort. OG. And, yeah. <laughs> thank you. And so I haven't really been measuring my OGs. Uh-oh. Oh, geez. I, it's just been saying, like, if you brew according to our instructions, like, you know, it'll be around this number. And I'm like, all right, I take your word for it. <laughs> and then like, you're, and then I will check my final gravity to see what it is, and then I'll compare it. And you know, I always hit my final gravity numbers dead on. But if I wasn't even close to my original gravity, what's it matter? Um, it'll really throw off your shit. Uh, and long story short, you use gravity, the original and the final readings, to determine your alcohol percentage, among other things, uh, as well as like how the yeast did. Like, did it fully, you know, brew your beer and turn all the sugars into alcohol and all that kind of stuff. So I brewed the hef. Uh, and for Dan and well, all of our likings, I also added some hops to it. That's going to be a, a hopifizen. Oh wow! Oh yeah. shit! I had some leftover cashmere hops in the fridge. I was like, you know, what? I'm dumping that shit. All in. right, there you yeah. Go. So we'll see how that works out. I and can dig it. I made sure I didn't just trust what the original gravity should be. I actually took a reading. It was way higher than it should have been. So way more sugary than it should be. So I dumped a bunch of water in there to kind of even it out and uh, got it right to where it should be. For those of you homebrewers out there, my original gravity, I believe, was 1048. And I'm shooting for, like, I think it's a 1020. So uh, fingers crossed, and this one turns out good. The yeast has been going off. Like, it's it's bubbling like crazy. Um, it's super active. Like the yeast won't even settle to the bottom. If you guys, I have the catalyst fermenter for those of you who are into home brewing Mm -hmm. and it's got a jar on the bottom and it's got a little valve that you can open and close. And so you open the jar and all the yeast and hot particles and just chunks like fall to the jar. And then, you know, you at what, at some point when the yeast is not so active and you think your fermentation is mostly done, you close off that uh, valve, you unscrew the jar and you dump it. And if you want to save your yeast for the next batch, you can, I'm not that good. (laughs) <laughs> but you can dump it, reattach the jar, or I'll reattach a smaller jar, um, open it back up, and then collect the rest of the chunks that are still in there. And that it helps clear out your beer. And then the nice thing is I don't have to like siphon from the top. I have an attachment for the bottom, so when I bottle it, it just comes straight down. Okay. Super cool. Um, but yeah, that, that jar is not filling up with shit. Like The yeast is so active, it's just in the middle of the beer, not falling down, which is kind of cool. So mm-hmm. uh, I'm very excited. And only other home brewers can... Really uh, feel my nerdy excitement here. <laughs> what it hopefully means for you fellas is I'm going to make a really good hoppy hef. Well, sounds great. Now I'm excited. Yeah. 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 Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you brought it home for me there. There we go. Oh, oh. wow. <laughs> oh. Yeah. yeah. So fingers crossed that this turns out well. It does not turn into apple juice like that garbage IPA. <laughs> yeah. And uh, hopefully the hops added a nice little something to the hef. You know, yeah. I, I like hoppy hefs and white IPAs, which is like an IPA with hop or with a hef recipe, whatever. So uh, I, I'm hoping it, it leans towards that direction. Cool. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. So. Right on. I will say 
Uh, I, have we tried the just because I said ho earlier uh, and not about a ho, but I'm talking about a uh, hacksaw Jim <laughs> yeah. Duggan and his two by four beer. I've had the two by four. You, you have it. Yeah, or I've, you've had. I've it. had it. Yeah, we talked mm. about it. I don't know, a couple months ago. Thanks for paying attention, Dan. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> Um. Yeah. Two by four. Have you had it? Yes. And I was just going to mention that I had it uh, recently at a uh, at the hipster the the old hipster bar at uh, oh, Whole, Foods. Whole Foods. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> For the burger and beer, and they have the hacksaw. how many uh, men with buns did you see? <laughs> <laughs> no, not many this time. Not many. Oh, surprise. Yeah. What'd you think of the uh, two by four? I can dig it, man. It's really good. Yeah. I need to have uh, another uh, another research that. Yeah, session. Another, let's need some more research on that. Yeah. I fucking dig it yeah recently wade's at it wade's this is, is one of my favorites this is like named after jim dugan yeah i remember about a year ago we were talking about melvin brewing mm-hmm. yeah. had a beer oh. called two by four is a double yeah. ipa and, mm-hmm. and hacksaw did the video for him yeah ah, like, two okay. by four two uh, by, yeah yeah, yeah. 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 yeah i had it a couple now. months ago for the first time and now you know dan's at it and uh yeah the really cool thing is melvin the brewing company uh is starting to branch out here more. If you go to Total Wine, you'll see some Melvin, like their IPA, Melvin IPA, not the 2x4, is readily available. It's a really solid IPA. Mm-hmm. It's very drinkable. It's just good all around. Okay. Um, it's not that hot bomb that 2x4 is. Like, good Lord. Yeah. That thing will kick you in the teeth, but it's it's also really well balanced, and you don't realize, I think it's like, what, 85 or 9%? Something like that. Oh, like, okay. I had a couple of those. I was by myself. I was rolling solo, <laughs> and, and I was at a burger and beer place. Mm-hmm. Had a couple of those and had like a, a salad or a burger or something. And I g- went to get up. I was like, woo. Oh, yeah. I've had a couple two by fours. <laughs> yeah. I almost got hit a couple of times on my way back to work. <laughs> <laughs> I was walking. <laughs> I was like, hey, this is a crosswalk, man. What's wrong with you? <laughs> the, <hell? laughs> the little red guy told me to go. Yeah. <laughs> So that's awesome. I'm glad you got to try it. Yes. That's tasty. Jim shit. Dugan told me he'll get across. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard for me to go back to the whole thing. Go ahead, tough guy. <laughs> yeah, tough guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard for me to go back there, though, because uh, they do have a nice burger and beer, right? But there's like a Red Robin like right next to my work oh, as well. Oh, and I really yeah. like their burgers, man. And the fries. Yeah. Endless, wow. too. Oh, yeah. my God. You have a Red Robin right by your work? Yeah. How nice. do you work? <laughs> it's hard. But they don't have as good a beer as the hipster bar. They don't. So it's almost like I should. Rudely quit back. <laughs> <laughs> Rudely bag up my Red Robin burger yeah. and then take. And then you it. don't get the yeah, endless fries if you bag it up. Uh, that's true. Yeah. God damn it! You know wow. you, should, you should you should like pound three servings of fries and then like bring your burger over to the hipster bar. And that's and true. Enjoy your two by four. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm. That's true. We should start a joint that has like good burgers and, and good, good beer. beer. Yeah. Oh man! Combine oh, the hipster fuck. bar and the Red Robin. Oh, damn, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I can make a good burger, man. Wow. Can you? Yeah. All right. I can drink a good beer. I know. <laughs> you can make a good beer. All right. I can drink one, too. Oh, shit. I'm better no. at drinking than oh, making. Man. We'll work on the making part. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, nice. Well, I'm glad you got to try it. Yeah. Thank That's, you. Uh, that deserves a, oh. <laughs> so, yeah. With your tongue sticking out. Yeah. Nobody, I don't know why I did it. Nobody <laughs> can see it. Like, I saw it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what counts. Yeah. I, great, great pod. Oh, man. Oh, dear. All right, I teased it earlier. Uh, Nicole is back from Beauty and Beer, and oh, she uh, she went to a new brewery. I think it's called Fountainhead Brewery. So let's see what she thinks of that place. Hi, everyone. It's Nicole from Beauty and Beer, and I'm really excited to share with you today my experience at Fountainhead Brewing Company in South Sacramento. It was Friday night, and I had just finished dinner with my dad. I was super stuffed. I had devoured a plate of Szechuan prawns, which were so delicious. I wasn't sure after the food coma if I wanted to go out or just stay home. Then I told myself, just go out and get some beer. So I'm really happy that I did. Showed up to Sack Fountainhead Brewing and was warmly greeted by Mark. Very good atmosphere. It had like a Cheers feel, like if you ever watched the show Cheers, I feel like everyone knew everyone. Uh, Very welcoming group. I got my flight from Mark and my flight consisted of a cranberry sour. I liked this sour, it was not too sour and I enjoyed the taste. I could see myself enjoying this more in the summertime. It was very smooth and tart. Uh, The next beer was Leo, which was a Belgian pale ale. I like the multi flavor and this beer had a beautiful color. I also kind of got a toasted flavor from it as well. My third beer was Hollywood Park and this was an IPA. And this IPA tasted different than any IPA I've had. Very floral type aroma hoppy had a nice bite to it 
City Tropics. This IPA has a citrus flavor. I tasted orange, very light hoppy flavor, very drinkable. Definitely a very drinkable IPA. Oh Rita was my next beer, which was a red ale. Roasty full flavor. I love this beer. The color was just beautiful, great flavor profile, and I really liked the name as well. My last beer was River King. Very smooth, light, roast flavor, hints of coffee, sweet but not too sweet. I did not enjoy a food truck because the food truck was already packing up when I got there and I think eating would have been overkill since I was so stuffed from dinner. I definitely recommend if you are in the Sacramento area to check this place out. Definitely a diamond in the rough. Great atmosphere. People were coming up to me and asking me what beer I liked. Just very nice and sociable. So I definitely recommend this place. Check it out in the summertime too. They have a beautiful patio, which I think will be very enjoyable on those warm Sacramento nights. If you are interested in reading or seeing more of my beer adventures, you can go to my website and read my blog at beautyandbeer.com. And you can also follow me on Instagram at beautyandbeer. Cheers. Cheers indeed. Yep. Thank you very much. If you guys want to read more about Nicole's adventures uh, to this brewery or any other one, beautyandbeer.com. Follow her on social media or Instagram at beautyandbeer.com. If there's one thing we've learned from Nicole, it's just to always go out and get a beer. Yeah, no yeah. kidding. Yeah. Never be disappointed in getting a beer. Yeah, that's never a bad... Look, Dan, a couple weeks ago, just went out and had a beer, and he ended up at Anacapa Brewing, which doesn't suck anymore. That's right. Yeah. Just, just go out and get a beer. go out and do it. Yeah. I'll give this man a beer. There that's you right. go. Yeah. You're going to have a fucking beer. <laughs> <laughs> Beer. There you go. <laughs> when you feel like, oh, I don't know if I can go out. You're going to have a fucking beer. In fact, the next time somebody says, I don't know if I want to go out, I'm going to yeah. play this. I'll show you how a man <laughs> drinks beer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I haven't heard that one for a while. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so thank you so much, Nicole. Like I said, yeah. follow her at Beauty and Beer on Instagram. And Beauty and, it's spelled out, A-N-D, beautyandbeer.com for all her uh, her blog posts and more brewery adventures. She's also working on starting a podcast soon. Hopefully, she oh really? Yeah. Oh, hope she doesn't ditch us. <laughs> wow, so it's like she will. Yeah, <laughs> it's like I'm better than you, fellas. That's we'll right. Be out of business in no time. Yeah. That's so right. uh, no, very cool. Um, yeah, more beer. All right, let's see. We got old timey word of the week. I'm so excited for Will Scott Porto, and it <laughs> <laughs> it's Adelpate. 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 An inconsiderate, foolish fellow. Uh oh. Mm. Yeah. That Adelpate kept talking out of his ass and wouldn't get the bubs. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there it is. You're welcome, everybody. I like that. Yeah. Adelpate. Took me no time at all. That's a strange one. That is a weird one. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. Oh, geez. There's a truck's dying out. Oops. Diesel. That was loud. Wow. <laughs> it's Kevin Nash <laughs> Big out Daddy there. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Good Lord. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. All right. Adelpate. Let's, uh, let's class this joint up. Yeah. No one could blame you for bed swerving. It's time for Beer Babe of the Week. Yes, indeed. Our Beer Babe of the Week, her name is Allison. Oh, wow. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> and uh, this is a picture of her in Europe drinking beer. I'll post it. You can follow her on Instagrams at grass o what G-R-A-S-S-O-W-H-A-T. grass o what Whatever that means. I don't know. But uh, you should follow her because she likes a lot of tasty beers and easy on the eyes. Very. Yes, uh-huh. she is. Easy on the eyes. Won't be sorry. At Grasso What on Instagrams. All right. Here is the moment we've all, oh, at least Greg's been waiting yeah. for. I'm waiting for the music. Yeah. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's time for Will Scott Pour It Out. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Scott oh, has two man. glasses next to him. We're going to let Dan uh, play this game also. Sure. Yes. I'm going to watch him first, though. <laughs> <laughs> Smart man. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh man. All right. So this is a, well, while they check it out, this is a dark beer in color. Uh, can't really see through it. He's sniffing it. Mm-hmm. 
He's, he's still sniff. I swear there's nothing uh, that'll make you sick. There's nothing wrong with the beer okay. as far as it's not expired. It's not okay. old. I didn't add anything to it. It is a legitimately brewed beer. And you'll once I say the name of it, you'll go, oh, okay, that's a real brewery I've heard of. Okay. All right, so give it a shot. Let's see what we got here. He's sipping the beer. He looks like the guy oh. on the Bitter Beer Face commercial. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Have another sip, maybe? Yeah, uh, try another sip. yeah, he's he's a little undecided. Yeah. I can't. Yeah, I can't figure out the taste. Uh huh. Okay. Well, so far it doesn't look like he's gonna pour it out. No, it doesn't look like he's gonna pour it out. <laughs> yeah, he's like, no, <laughs> suckers. Yeah, as he chugs it. <laughs> That's was, was garbage. Yeah. Mm. And it was funny. And, and while he drinks, w- when I took a sip, I was like, oh, it's it's just fine. It's not a great beer. And okay. I took like two sips, and then three. The more I got into it, the harder it got to finish. And like, yeah, it was weird. It, at first, I was like, well, it's not good, but I'll finish it. Mm-hmm. It got to the point where I was like, I can't finish this beer. When I, wow. I had I had two bottles, one of them the other night. I was so excited when I got this because I found it at Total Wine. I was like, oh, I've heard so much about this. I'm going to get it. It's going to be great. Uh-huh. And then it was not great at all. He's still going for it. Yeah. Right? I, Looks like oh. he'll drink it. So you're not going to pour it out? Yeah, I mean, I no, I won't pour it out. Looks like you can't oh, get enough of sorry. it. Sorry. Do you like it? I um, Have I misjudged your taste buds? <laughs> um, I'm not crazy about it. Uh-huh. But... Um, would you would you buy a bottle? I, I would not buy it. Okay, if okay. I told you that, that it was on sale at Total, maybe it should Wine. be a new thing. We'll, we'll, we'll Scott, Scott buy, buy it. it. Yeah, but then uh, it's, yeah, that the answer is always no. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it was on sale at Total Wine. And one bomber was two dollars. Would you pay two dollars for a bomber of oh, this? Oh shit! That is the new question. Two bucks. Two, two bucks, bucks, Chuck. Two bucks for a bomber. Would you? Uh, yeah, I'd pay two bucks. God you damn would. it! All right, yeah. Dan. Now you gotta try it. All right, Come on, Dan. Dan's going in for it. Well, Dan, pour it out. <laughs> I love this music. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Just smelling it first. Uh-huh. I'm trying to figure out what the taste is. I, mean, I feel like uh, smelling is like the equivalent of like dipping a toe into the water. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah. So far, so good. I don't smell anything bad. Right. Okay, I'm going to go in. Balls deep, buddy. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> like it's um, is it prune beer? It tastes like prune yeah, beer. Right? Yeah, yeah. I, I could it, use that. It, it tastes like a beer <laughs> until like the aftertaste kicks in. Then it just all over your mouth is like prune or raisin, something. Or, yeah, or some I, kind I, of fruit. I can't pinpoint the interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, gotta, I gotta dip back in. Here. Yeah, yeah. Dip, dip your uh, sack back in there. <laughs> Wait a minute, Dan's sack. Yeah. <laughs> What do you think, Dan? The more you drink, does it get worse as you drink more? That's yeah, what I thought. Because that's what it is. The aftertaste, like, like is, it just like goes all around everywhere. You know what I mean? Right. It's like, so the more you're drinking, the more it's like going everywhere. Yeah. And it's <laughs> and like, not oh my in a god, good way. yeah. Like you said, the, the more you drink, it's like everywhere sooner or later, and you're not going to want to drink anymore. Yeah. It's interesting. Ah, oh, shit. You're right. Will you pour it out? No, I, I won't pour it out. All right, would oh, you, two dollars for a bomber? Would you pay? Would you pay for that? I know. I don't think I would. Okay. Ooh, okay. Now that we've uh, we've talked about it, here's what it is. You guys are drinking Rogue Ales, Santa's Private Reserve Ale. No way. Really? Way. Oh fuck. Yes. I almost bought that shit, man. Yeah. Me too. Today, actually. Really? Was yeah. it on sale for $2 a bomber at Total Wine? No, I wasn't at Total Wine. Oh, well, I got it on sale for $2. Really? <laughs> I saw it and I thought, oh, I've I heard so it's... much about this. And I mean, there's a picture of Santa on the label. Yeah, so he's drinking I'm, I'm with, a, guessing with was... a beer or something like that, uh, isn't he? Let me, uh, let me pull up a picture of the bottle here. Let me show you fellas. Oh, okay. No, no, no. no. no, no. All right. You might be thinking Santa's Little Helper. Maybe. That's oh, the one. Boom. Yes. And Santa's, I did buy that, and I did drink it. Santa's Little Helper is amazing. I love it. It's delicious. I almost bought that today. Do buy Santa's Little Helper. Okay. Yes. I Don't buy Santa's couple, Private Reserve. You know what? And from like, Rogue. Uh, yeah. Rogue is the gross one. Santa's Little Helper is from Port. Okay, but, but this delicious. one's Rogue. Uh, that one's Rogue. Santa's Rogue. Rogue. Yeah. What's it I, called? San, San, Santa's, Santa's private, private Reserve. Private Reserve. Okay. Yes. Yeah, and it's funny because every year I see it's it there, and it, and it, it stares there. me right in the face, 
And I, I pass it up for some reason. Yeah, I've seen it on a bunch of like top Christmas lists. Yeah. It was on one of ours that we read on the show, like beers you should have at Christmas time. And nobody said anything because we didn't try it. Yeah. And oh, uh, I saw it and I thought, oh, we talked about it. And I've heard people talk about it. This is going to be great. What is <laughs> in it that's making that happen? It's it's a Belgian dark ale with raspberries and cherries. Oh, Ra- and I hate raspberry with a passion. Aren't you the raspberry guy? A boysenberry. Boys Boys, and yeah. Get it right. <laughs> That dude's boys and bears. That's right. Oh my god, this stuff's delicious. <laughs> that is garbage. <laughs> I, but I would drink. I would drink that over this. And I wouldn't pour that out either. Oh. No. So yeah, what, yeah. Fuck. So you would. So this, you, not even the worst that I've handed you, is it? No, for, for you at least. No, oh, really. God damn! I was so excited. I couldn't finish. Sorry, it. Man. my lady friend couldn't finish. it. Really? Yeah. Raspberries. And I hate raspberries. That could be raspberries. part of it. Raspberries. Um, that's it. Yeah. I hate raspberries. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely hate raspberries in any way, shape, or but form. But yet you wouldn't pour this out. Uh fuck! I don't know. I'm getting. I'm trying hard, really. Now, to, now to that you know there's raspberries in it. Yeah. Is it then that was with your mind. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. But it, it did. It solves the riddle. I was like, what is that crap? What the fuck is yeah, that I, flavor? Yeah, I couldn't figure it out. Yeah. yeah I, I couldn't. Tastes like bad raspberries, and raspberries are already bad. So. Raspberry? <laughs> <laughs> Tastes like raspberry? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, there you have it. Oh, God, I was so... I thought Sorry, this is going to be the one. If he's going to pour anything out, this will be it. Now that aftertaste is crazy, dude. <laughs> Scott will oh, finish crap. it for you. <laughs> Yeah, mm. holy shit. <laughs> well, I have I have a beer here that isn't our official bullpen beer, but it is like if you guys couldn't finish it, you can cleanse the palate with this one. Mm. Uh, it's Samuel Smith's All India right. Ale. Uh, I'm definitely going to have some because I'm not drinking that shit. And uh, if anybody <laughs> wants some, you're more than welcome to have oh, it. Oh, man. I'll give you a quick little about uh, Samuel Smith India Ale. It's brewed with well water, the original well at the old brewery that was sunk in 1758. It's still in use with the hard water being drawn from wow. 85 feet underground. Wow. Uh, best malted barley and generous amounts of choicest aroma hops. That's ferment- all true stuff? That's what it says. Wow. Fermented in stone. I was just a kid then. <laughs> yeah. You couldn't even drink yet. Yorkshire squares to create an exceptionally full-flavored complex ale with an abundance of maltness and fruity hop character. I've had other Sam Smith stuff. I have not had this one, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I'll crack this open as we Ooh, talk. Will and- you pour it out? We'll find out shortly. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well, we uh, while I open this and pour it out into my glass, we will move on to talk about a little booze news. Extra, extra, drink all about it. It's time for booze news. Well, breweries have been threatening this for a long time, and it's finally happened. Hmm. Blairville. Later, I'm joking. It's longer. Work on it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's a good time. There's a brewery that has finally introduced a biodegradable six pack ring. What? Yeah, you know, oh, that holds the cans. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So finally, have have made one that's not only biodegradable, but uh, like if turtles in the ocean eat it, they won't die. <laughs> and it's supposed to degrade in like if it gets into the water because that's the big thing is like the six pack rings always end up in the ocean yeah and this one's supposed to degrade within i think it was like three months oh okay oh, it, just, wow. it just goes away so it's uh, it's, it's made long them enough all... to kill a handful of fish <laughs> <laughs> yeah but no turtles yeah, yeah. Okay, okay yeah exactly that's save so, the turtles yeah and ironically enough saltwater brewing company is the one that debuted this they're out of florida right. so uh yeah we're saving the world yeah one six pack at a time uh, I like that, man. Yeah, you don't it's have kinda, to like chop it up with your scissors anymore, right? I always mm-hmm. felt bad, like for the turtles and stuff, and I would always yeah. chop up the six pack yeah. rings with scissors. I didn't want to, you know, like kill any turtles or mm. Nemo's or anything. Correct. Mm-hmm. Uh, here, here's where Lagerville came from. <laughs> Figaro Mountain Brewery out here, uh, local Central and Southern California brewery, is going to host Lagerville Festival for craft loggers. Uh, Fig Mountain will host an inaugural Lagerville Festival at their Buellton location on May 19th of this year. Acclaimed breweries with sought-after lagers, which include Eagle Rock Brewery, Taps Fish House, Chapman Crafted, Alvarado Street Brewing, Brewery Rex, King Harbor, Enegrin Brewing, Pizza Port, Three Weavers, and more have all been invited to the Central Coast Celebration. Lagerville attendees will have a chance to learn more about this method of beer making and will have access to small batch and experimental pilot loggers made by fig mountain and their teams i think this is really cool because loggers and pilsners forever have been associated with uh dilly dilly and the crown <laughs> and they tasted like shit but now 
lagers have been like the cool new thing for craft brewers to brew. Hmm. Um, in a couple of weeks, we'll hear the interview I got to do with Nick from 14 Cannons. And he talks about how it's his favorite style because it's, it's like the most, you know, skill involving beer. You really have to know what you're doing to make a good lager. Oh, okay. Pilsner. Okay. So, breweries are really starting to to produce some really good stuff. And Kolsch's are becoming cool now, which is kind of a form of, of lager or pilsner. Oh, okay. I love a good Kolsch uh, or a good coffee coffee Kolsch. Like I talked about the one from Arrow Lodge Brewing. Yeah, so. now and then I'll get on a, on a lager kick too. Like, you know, I have to put down the IPAs for a second and uh, get some lagers and then get back on the IPA again. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You don't want to get off that horse for too long. No, no, no. And, you know, and I feel like sometimes like if I'm drinking too many IPAs like, you know, in a row, like they kind of blend together. Yeah, that can happen. Yeah, so if I get a lager and then I get the IPA, I get that kick in the teeth that mm-hmm. I'm looking for. It's like a palate cleanser. Yeah. It's like when yeah. you're having a fancy yeah, yeah, yeah. dinner and they give you like a bite of melon to cleanse your palate. Exactly. That's what lagers are I for. can dig it. I love uh, like starting off the night like if I'm having tacos for dinner, you know? Oh, yeah. A lager is so good with tacos. It really is. Yeah. It's true. Mm-hmm. That's the last time I had a lager I was having tacos. See? <laughs> it's and interesting. I, I like when I have to switch beers mid-tacos. Because like I'll have a, a beer with like the first couple of tacos, and it usually be a lager. And then mm-hmm. if I finish while I'm still eating tacos, I'll be like, "Oh, what's a nice like, you know, hoppy pale ale or mm. lighter IPA I can I can transfer into?" That's that's how I like to do it. Right on. Yeah, I can dig it. Mm-hmm. So, uh, anyways, I'm excited for Lagerville. Hopefully, tickets aren't too expensive because I don't I don't think a uh, a field trip to Lagerville would be such a bad idea. Mm-mm. If only we knew somebody who Ubered. Hmm. Hmm. God damn it! Hmm. I think of somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Drive us up to like old ladies' houses. <laughs> <laughs> Get some sex and gnocchi. <laughs> That's right, man. It's a gnocchi with that gnocchi. Yeah, it's all about the gnocchi. <laughs> we'll stop by here and get some sex and gnocchi and then head right up to the old brewery. There we go. The brewery. Brewery. All brewery. right. The, the results are in. Oh. I won't pour it out. The, the Sam Smith India Ale. Oh, oh! I haven't tried <laughs> oh, yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. not. It's not great. You guys, uh, it's better than what the crap you're drinking. <laughs> hey, I'll say this about what we're drinking. Yeah, the the uh, crap we're drinking. Mm-hmm. Go yeah, ahead. go ahead, Dan. Okay. Tell him. You know, uh, it, it, much like I said, dipping a toe into the pool. <laughs> you know, you, you, you know, it takes a while to get in, but once you're in there, not that it's good, or I'll buy it. Yeah, I'll I'll sit around the water for a little bit. The water's warm now. Yeah. <laughs> Because you peed? <laughs> well, you know, I, I thought I would have the same response. I thought, oh, I will just force a little more down the gullet, mm-hmm. and, it, and it won't be so bad. And I just, the more I drink, the worse it got. But okay. like I said, I have a strong aversion to raspberries, so that uh, that could be a big part yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. What's your favorite jam? <laughs> uh, grape. Really? Yeah. Whoa. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or strawberry. Either one. What? Okay. Yeah. But grape's good. That's so weird. Why? Because me too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to say, like, that's grape. disgusting. No, grape or strawberry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. I like strawberry. Yeah, I think grape edges out strawberry by a little bit. But it has to be, like, sometimes grape just tastes like Kool-Aid. I don't like it to taste yeah, just exactly. like Kool-Aid. Yeah, huh? It depends on the brand, I yeah. think. Yeah, like, like store brand grape but, jelly is usually pretty gross. But I, what other jellies are there? Oh, like flavors? Strawberry, yeah. It's like orange, apple really? butter. Ew. Apple okay. butter is good. I like apple oh, when butter. When I was a kid, I liked apple butter. I haven't had apple well, butter in years. I, I, me either. I th- well, I think it's either one of three. It's grape, <laughs> it's strawberry, or it's raspberry. Yeah. Knott's Berry Farm has boysenberry. There you oh, go. Oh, well, there you go. And there you, you like go. boysenberry. I do. Yeah. In we your beer. that out. Yeah. yeah. No kidding. That's there you go. I gotta yeah. give me some more dudes. <laughs> yeah. Boysenberry. It's just down the street, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> so good. So, all right. That is Lagerville. Portland. Oh, speaking of Portland, our last week's uh, listenership of the week. Oh, yeah. We talked about this, uh, I don't know, a couple months ago. Old Town Brewing was uh, having a bit of a dispute with the city over their logo. It was that oh, yeah, that stag, right. the deer logo from right. Portland. Right. And they had they had trademarked it, and they had the rights to use it for alcohol, and the city wanted to start selling merchandise with the logo that involved alcohol. Well, good news. They finally come to an agreement. And only Old Town Brewing can use the logo in alcohol-related pot products. Right on. And the city can use it for everything else. I can dig it. Yeah. So That's uh, fair. Dilly dilly for all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> dilly dilly. Um, Night Shift Brewing is a brewery on the East Coast. They have ended... This is like kind of a, a tale of or a sign of things to come. We talked about Smutty Nose being put up for auction a couple weeks ago. Uh, Night Shift is ending their contract brewing at Smutty Nose Brewery and have switched to Isle... Brewers Guild, which I know nothing about, but uh, 
I hope that doesn't spell the end for Smutty Nose. Hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I can dig that. So we'll see what happens there. Um, Epic Brewing. I love me some Epic Brewing. Yeah. Have you guys had like Big Bad Baptist or Big Bad Baptista or any of those ones? Can't remember which one I had it from them. I've had for sure. I've had Big Bad Baptist and Son of Baptist. Hmm. They're all great. Like their dark beers are phenomenal. Um, anyways, Epic Brewing. Bad news is recalling a batch of Big Bad Baptista. Oh shit! Yeah, numerous reports of buttery off flavors. Oops. Ooh. And Epic Brewing's uh, batch of Big Bad Baptista that was released in eight states, and those states are Colorado, Ohio, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, North Carolina, Idaho, California, Oops, and Texas. Pretty much all of them. Yeah. <laughs> Probably everywhere they distribute. Yeah. Uh, wow. Micro tests found a bacterial presence in both bottles and kegs of Big Bad Baptista. Uh, the, really, the bacteria caused the off flavor, but is not harmful. Well, then what the hell? <laughs> Don't you mean diarrhea? Or I don't know. Let's find out. Scott will pour it out. I know, right? I, I need diarrhea. Yeah. So. <laughs> if anybody has a bad bottle yeah. of uh, Big Bad yeah. Baptista, send it our way. Send yeah. it our way. We'll see if Scott will pour it out. And, That's right. And Probably if his butt will pour it out. That's right. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'll drink it and then pour it out the what, next day. Yeah. <laughs> What'll happen faster? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, be just like, bring, I won't pour it out. Bring a bucket. Bring a bucket. <laughs> yeah. Just in case. Oh, yeah. man. Um, Potential bad news. U.S. beer no, makers no. in 2017 shipped 3.8 million fewer barrels Whoa. than they did the previous year in 2016. Um, it's 170 million barrels in 2017 to a, a roughly 174 million barrels in 2016. But here's the thing. This article did not mention this, but if you recall, we recently talked about Budweiser's slumping sales. Yeah. They did not say if this is craft or, or macro, micro, you know, oh. whatever. I think this has a lot to do with Budweiser sales and does not... Not necessarily indicative of craft breweries. So it might not be so bad after all. Oh, okay. I don't know. It was a very vague article. Yeah, it is. It's, yeah, it sounds like it's... Didn't give lots of information. Mm. But uh, I think I think we're not as bad as they would want us to think we are. I think uh, I'm working too much. You're working too much? Yes. Why? Because when I'm working, I'm not drinking. Mm, mm-hmm. that's, oh, probably, yeah. that's probably why yeah you could be responsible for the uh, 3.8 million barrels I, I, feel, <laughs> I feel bad yeah yeah what's one barrel i think like 30 gallons oh then yeah yeah let's see 30. that's a weekend for me i pull out the calculator here <laughs> 30 gallons times uh oh, god 3.8 god that's a lot of zeros oh wow. no nope, no decimals Oops. come on calculator broke yeah i did <laughs> It keeps putting a decimal in when I'm not hitting the decimal button. Oh, man. Or yeah, I'm Put it on your, your green tax hat. <laughs> <laughs> tax visor hat. You need a typewriter, too. Yeah. All right. 3.8 times... Uh, it's roughly 30 gallons. It might be 33. Carry we'll go with one. 30. That's 114 million barrels of beer. Really? Or, I mean, gallons. 114 million gallons. Gallons. Oh, that's, is that, that's, a, that's a partial weekend. I, oh, okay. I'm sorry. My, so, I, my so, bad. You could take a few hours off and yeah, help the sure. breweries out. Yeah. I'll take some more days off. Yeah. A beercation. Yeah, there you go. Yes. You got some days to burn at work, don't you? I do. There you go. Perfect. Uh, and then finally, before we get out of here, mm-hmm. New Belgium Brewing, you guys will be so excited. Oh, shit. Has a new series of beers coming out called Tartastic Fruit Series. Oh, oh, oh. man. <laughs> new Raspberry? Be- yeah, New Belgium. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. New Belgium is launching a new kettle soured series of fruit forward beers in 2018. Ugh. Riffing on the Belgian tradition of adding fruit to create crisp, slightly tart, and refreshing flavor profiles. Tartastic Raspberry Lime Ale. Ugh, raspberry. No. It's New Belgium's first release of the series, marking the transition of Tartastic from one year round offering. Lemon ginger sour to a rotating stable of sessional fruit beers. <laughs> why, New Belgium? Why? I don't know, man. I can't get on board with that whole tart bullshit. I like sours. I like sour beers really? that are made well. Yeah. I can't um, do it. Firestone does some amazing sour beers. Creaky Bones, Agrestic. Good God, you should get your hands on those. <laughs> um, but fucking raspberry, like fruit added? <laughs> Come on. That's where you draw the line. Raspberry. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, it's funny. People. I won't do a sour, but... I mean, I won't pour it out. <laughs> right, yeah. I mean, I won't pour it out either, but... Have you guys had any Firestone Sours? Agrestic, Creaky Bones, any of those? I may have shied away from them. Okay. I got to find one, and or somebody's got to find one. We, we got to try. I want to see what you guys think, because their sours are not like Warhead Sours. You know, it's like a oh, nice... Okay. You know, it's sour, but it's not like, woo! 
you know, sour. Yeah. And uh, I really enjoy it. I think they do a really good job of balancing their sours, I okay. like to say. So. Interesting. Let's we'll see what happens. Sure. Will, will the gentleman pour it out? We'll find out. Yep. All right. I think that's just about everything. I think so. Have I forgotten anything? I hope not. Let's hit the music. Uh, don't you guys forget to vote for our oh, March yeah. Madness IPA bracket. Yeah, do that. Yeah, the unfilteredgentleman.com slash bracket. Uh, or you can just go to unfilteredgentleman.com and click on the bracket menu item at the top there. Your options are Stone IPA, Firestone Walker's Union Jack, New Belgium's Voodoo Ranger, and, uh, not and, Dogfish Head 60 Minute IPA, Bear Republic Racer 5 IPA, and Ailsmith's IPA. Which is currently in the lead. Yeah, I haven't checked uh, in a couple of days, but yeah, last time I looked, it was tied with uh, Firestone. Wow. wow. Yeah, which I was, I was surprised. I thought it would be like Stone and Firestone leading the group. It's, yeah. It's what I thought would happen, but hey, hey, surprised me. That's right. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Uh, be like our caller last week and drunk dial us. Yeah, do that. Yeah, oh, while, yeah. You're, while you're eating gnocchi. Yeah. 805. You have to fucking roll one and just drunk dial us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 805-538-BEER. It's 2337. After you're literally banging your old lady. <laughs> <laughs> or somebody's old lady. Yeah, yeah, literally and figuratively. Oh, man. Uh, what else? Social medias at the Unfiltered Gentleman, except for Twitter, at Unfiltered Gents. I think that's everything. Uh, mm-hmm. Look forward to our interview with Nick in a couple of weeks. And, oh, I, I mentioned this lightly. I might have to edit this out, but... Uh, Potential live show coming up at Integrin Brewing in Moore Park, California. Pencil in lightly your calendars, everybody, <laughs> for Saturday the 24th of February. Right on. Uh, you might get to come and uh, drink with the unfiltered gentleman. Do that. So uh, stay hydrated in the meantime. And on that note, good night, everybody. Good night.